when a horse pulls, do they go side to side or straight back? Oh, pretty obvious, yeah. Okay, so I do a lot of lateral work breaking a horse free. But I want to know if I apply pressure that he can move sideways and soften. Right. Okay, so the challenge of this is in any one moment when he starts to hold that I stay with it. So there'll be, so there's a couple pieces here that I, I think of this like a fish, you know, fishing when someone catches a, catches a big fish. They don't, uh, you don't just keep the line tight, tight, tight because the fish will just snap the line. So it has drag. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this perfectly connected to him. So right now the shoulders are pretty sticky and that, so there's not a lot of mobility there. When I step into them, he's like, that's where he's, he's packing this thing. So then what I do is I'll keep, I'll keep motion and connection to it. So here, I wanna see mobility as I step in. And then I connect, but I'm not actually making him, there we go. The challenge is to feel tension inside of movement. Because most of the time if the horse moves, we think that they've made the change. Um, that's it. So what I want to do is I want to feel this whole side of his body and sense a release. And then if I step into his body, that I feel, I feel change. So if I halt, and back, and then come forward, good. Take him sideways, I want to feel, that's it, good. So I'm kind of on purpose, good. Having those conversations, so that was like, okay, did you see what he did? He was doing really nicely. And then all of a sudden, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not leaving you there. That's not, that's not when we're together. That's not how you have to respond. I'll show you a new way. I'll show you a new way. So if I leave him in that, then that, bot, that tension stores in his body. Okay. So the only thing that I'm having to do, I'm getting a little bit bigger with my pressure because he wants to get sticky. It's like, and just hold. It gets sticky. So I'm not getting after him because he's doing anything wrong. What I'm doing is I'm going to stir up enough pressure enough until he starts to, to move. And you'll see this in the webinar, the tying webinar. Is yes, it's associated to tying a young horse, but it's more so about the process I'll go through to get change. Okay, so la I, I do a lot of lateral work. When a horse pulls, do they go side to side or straight back? Oh, pretty obvious, yeah. Okay, so I do a lot of lateral work breaking a horse free. But I want to know if I apply pressure that he can move sideways and soften. Good. Good. And it's like, no, it's unacceptable for him to do what he, okay, I say unacceptable. I am not leaving him in that. He's done it a couple times where it's like, all of a sudden, he's like, what's that? No, 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 no. Good. So what is the answer to that? Do you see I'm not letting go of it? it, it because, because he's holding it through all of his back. <laughs> to get to a place where they pull, they have to tighten here and get that tension all the way to their back end. 
You see? So what I'm trying to do is I'm, I'm going to, I'm just not settling in, in there. That's a boy. Good. See, I, I was like, let it go, man. No, I care about you way too much. I'm not leaving it. And that's where some people can get to kind of misinterpret the pressure. That's it. Good. Good. See, if I touch the rein, softness all the way to the back end. I don't care if it's perfect. I just want to feel availability. Good. Perfect. And now, okay, this is the cool part. How do you see him moving now? Okay, and you see the shoulder, and you see the pole, and you see the hindquarters, because it's all the same. Really, I'm removing the resistance from him, and then he can be himself. See, see, when a horse is carrying themselves right, it's not that they're being formed and shaped into some structure. When a horse is carrying themselves, they're moving in their most free point based on their muscles, bones, and ligaments. It's not that they shouldn't have to be shaped into some contorted position. So when, when he lets go and he's on a bend, he's going to move a certain way because it's the easiest way his body can move. So then even now as I'm doing this and I'm getting, having to get a tiny bit bigger in these moments, really all I'm getting bigger is to say, but I'm not that, that you, you have to come and talk to me. It's like he's going inside himself and holding on and I'm going to do enough pressure enough until he comes out. Okay. And then, and then he kind of already has an understanding of certain things, right? But the key is, is that anytime he feels this, there should be a release. So I'm coming in enough. That's it. To feel that. I want to know that if I come in laterally. So I come in laterally until. Good. Good. There is a release. So what does he want to do? He wants to and just move and hold and move and hold. So if I released on his movement, nothing's changing. So I want to know. Ah, that's it. There we go. Good. You see the difference? Then if I come in here, I want to put more feel in the line. Now if I go sideways again, good. And now if I change, not into me. See, when he gets all bracy, what options does he have? Forward and back, that's it. So he went backwards, I said no, so he, almost, he was going to come right over top of me. Now, he's not going to come over top of me, but he was going to run through me. Yeah. So, to get to the hindquarters, I have to get him lateral. I have to feel the shoulder, feel the hindquarters. See, now I'm getting a change behind. That's it. And then halt. Back. And forward. Good. That's it. Good. Good. 